All right, YouTube, hello and welcome. We're going live on TikTok right now. Thank you for tuning in tonight, guys. I appreciate all of you. At the time of this recording, the market is moving up. Bitcoin nearly up to uh, 64, it hit 64.5, 64.8. We're currently kind of glitching out on coin market cap, but the market is pumping as we speak. Fired up the live stream right as this started. And XRP moving back up to, I think it just touched a buck 27. Correct, up 11% today. Look at it go. Fantastic. Whole market starting to move up though. Let's let's do a quick rundown. Um, now, let me remind everyone, this is coin market caps prices. So they might be a little bit off from your exchange. But at the time of this recording, Bitcoin pushing back up to 65. ETH is not really running quite yet, but it's at 4,700 almost. You have Solana down right now, 4% today, down to 245. It was up at 250. Now it's sliding sideways. Solana is in price discovery now. It has hit that all-time high. So we'll see where it ends up. I still think it has some room to go. Cardano up 2% at the time of this recording. <clears throat> whole market's moving up xrp leading the way look at that almost 60 billion in the market cap for xrp for everyone who wants to do the market cap situation uh what did the market cap just move up about 9 billion in the last week unbelievable actually on time uh beth yeah it was a very interesting situation that we saw at that concert rest in peace um still waiting for things to come out but it's incredible what they're doing right now xrp to ten thousand. well someone asked me how many xrp to be a millionaire and i just think it's funny and someone asked, how much vet to be a millionaire? How do I become a millionaire, man? You got to really do your own research. But with XRP, everything that we've put together, it's a much higher price. A price that you guys are uncomfortable with. A price that a lot of kids can't wrap their mind around. 100%. <clears throat> Pretty swell pump. Yeah, pump is going well. Your long is doing pretty good. Yeah, I cashed out my long at 70% profit. Um, yeah, I'm looking to see what XRP does right now. But I was going to enter back into another one. But yeah, I made 70% on that XRP long from yesterday. <clears throat> we'll, we'll see what XRP does. It might come back down again. Uh, let me pull up the chart here. major resistance at a buck 40 but we do have a little bit of resistance on the way up yeah one buck 27 and a buck 30. xrp's pumping yep let's go guys all right so i just announced the 150 xrp giveaway winner over on youtube it was zachary Barard. shout out to you my friend hit me up on instagram or just DM me on TikTok somewhere. Find me and we'll get you that 150 XRP, my friend. Thank you. I posted the giveaway on YouTube. Everybody wants to start gambling. <clears throat> Everybody wants to start gambling right now. Sold half your Sheba. There you go. Should we keep XLM? Absolutely. Still a 10X and left an XLM. What is XLM sitting at right now? Let's take a look. You too. Let me check out your comments right now too. Let 
Matt is checking in. Thank you. Thank you, YouTube. If you are there, if you can hear my voice, let me know how it sounds and uh, let me know that you are here. Appreciate all of you guys. Thank you. Had a dream that XLM hit $2.75. Three to five dollars this bull run for me is the XLM price. Not financial advice, but that's what I'm looking at. Do I think that she will pump again? It, it can. It can. No doubt, but uh, be careful with it. Be careful with it. Polka dot. <clears throat> Everyone loves polka dot. Doge. Yeah, I think that shitcoin season, it's like we're still in the middle of it, but it's wrapping up. After these coins have done, you know, 10,000% in the last uh, month, it's hard for them to push much more. The hype is dying out. The hype is dying out with these meme coins, shit coins. Polka dot, 51 bucks. A lot of these coins now heading into price discovery, but polka dot, polka dot is one of those coins. Sorry. Look at that all time high chart. Yeah, it's in price discovery right now, guys. So as we're watching these go, <clears throat> I'm only expecting them to hit like a two or three X if, uh, if the whole market cap of the whole space doubles or triples again. That would put us at six trillion or nine trillion. If we go three, six, nine, this bull run, that'd be pretty crazy. But there are some people putting us out that far. However, uh, you know, if we just get a double uh, for the market cap, hit five, six trillion, definitely these coins can two x or three x the all-time high they already hit this bull run. So for Polka Dot and others, it hit its you know top out here back in May. It can run again. I just, I wouldn't expect more, much more than a two or three X on those that have already ran this cycle. The utility is not like it's improving and it is getting better. Adoption is here, but um, we're at about a month left. In my opinion, we're at about one to two months left in this current uptrend bull run top blow off top. So we got to position ourselves accordingly. Steve's here on YouTube. Christian, thank you. H bar, I am a fan of it. Yep. Taco Cat, yeah, thank you, Vince. Steve asked why I wouldn't sell, you know, some of my bag at the top of the price. It's because I'm worried about all the funny action that's been going on with XRP since the very beginning. I don't feel comfortable relinquishing control. So a short-term gain, gain, although it is appealing, I'm not here to make, you know, just a little 50,000 bucks here on my uh, investment. And XRP, when we see utility actually kicking in, it's at a three and a four and a five digit price. So at 10 bucks, yeah. You might be able, you know, if you can time the market correctly and if you're able to do it, yeah, it, it sounds nice. It pencils out great on paper. You know, a lot of things pencil out nice. But this is a new world that we're in. This thing moves so quickly. And they have staged XRP in just this incredible delayed lawsuit prepare for launch situation. Unlike any other crypto. What's good, everyone? How are we doing tonight? Maybe they want us to sell exactly my thinking. I said in one of my videos recently on TikTok, $10, 10 to $13 this bull run is part of the shakeout. <clears throat> A lot of people are going to be selling at 10 and 13 bucks. VeChain, I think it has room this bull run. I'm not a fan of it.
I'm going to tell you guys this. If some doofus moron is telling you that XRP is only going to 2 or $3 this bull run. Wow, I'm going to take a deep breath. I can't even address these guys, honestly. I'm just going to hold back my comments. You already know what the deal is, though. Look at the two previous bull runs. Look at how this money flows. It's going to flow into XRP. There's a reason why it's been in the top 10. It's only going to take $500 billion for XRP to reach a $10 price. Not even. Not even. It's like $460 billion, which is nothing which is nothing considering that the whole space is up to 3 trillion nearly market cap a market cap is a silly number right it's not going to take much more than a couple weeks run remember guys remember 20 cents to $3.80 in 2018 without coinbase it doesn't matter that it's not listed everywhere it doesn't matter that it's tough to buy in half the country right now People have been fed a disinformation, uh, misinformation campaign about XRP not even being available. Doesn't matter though, because back in 2018, $0.20 to $3.84, and coin market cap shut off the markets for Korea in the middle of the pump. Korea was eating up XRP in the middle of that bull run, and then coin market cap in the middle of the night decided to turn off the volume that was coming from Korea, and it showed a price drop. True story. Shout out to Digital Asset Investor. He's the one who showed me that. In the middle of that XRP bull run pump, when it was about to just go parabolic, uh, that's what they did. And then as he's exposing right now, we're seeing that these guys have been shorting XRP after they've had conversations with the SEC, staged from the very beginning. Like I've been saying, the insiders got in on Bitcoin and Ethereum, Wall Street insiders. Wall Street guys told you and they're pretending that they're buying Bitcoin at 50 and 60 grand with the morons who are first coming into the cryptocurrency space and don't understand that Bitcoin's not going to be the reserve currency. Michael Burry, yeah, or sorry, not Michael Burry. Uh, what's his name? The Bitcoin guy. Michael Billion in Bitcoin every month, whatever his name is. I can't even remember it. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. But I, yeah, it is unbelievable to me that we still have doofus morons who say that XRP is only going to $2 this bull run. Michael Saylor, Michael Billion in Bitcoin, Mr. It's the most sound <laughs> currency the world's ever seen. It was good for Bitcoin. Like, I'll say one good thing to Bitcoin right now, to all the Bitcoin folks that think that it's something. Congratulations when the country that owns TikTok decided to ban Bitcoin, it was actually great for it. When they decided to ban Bitcoin mining, it was great for Bitcoin. Congratulations, you have moved the Bitcoin miners over to the morons in America who are running this proof of work shit blockchain that really, at this point, has no more utility than that store of value. But as the miners moved over here, it did help it become more decentralized. But what you're going to see is it's going to come over to a half dozen mining pools over here in America. Same shit. A coordinated 51% attack could happen at any time for Bitcoin and quantum computers wreck proof of work. That's the problem with proof of work is a lot of them cannot be made or they're going to be tough to be made quantum resistant. Many people don't understand that when they're first getting in. That's the thing, guys, is we have newbies coming into the space. I'm talking to new people who don't own any crypto. And then you're trying to have higher level conversations with these Bitcoin boys. And then we're dealing with the pump and dump scammers on YouTube and show you the signals, show you the fucking bullshit NFT project. 
get rug pulled. That This is what we're dealing with. The average person, I've just been trying to stay focused on XRP and the chosen utility tokens. And if you want to gamble, you want to go to the casino, you want to go to KuCoin and trade your futures like me and get wrecked, that's what's going to happen. If you want to go and invest in the NFTs, you can make money. I'm not denying that. But at the end of the end of the day, utility will win. That's where the hundreds of trillions are going to flow. And that's what gets these guys bent is their cryptocurrency, if they have any, or maybe they're just some agnostic trader. You're an agnostic trader that doesn't believe in anything. You're an atheist, essentially. Okay. Realistically speaking, where are these biggest banks, financial institutions, and governments and central banks building their projects on? And we have proof now. Look at the Digital Pound Foundation. Look at three patents that actually matter. Look at 400 partnerships that actually matter. Look at 50 conversations with central banks that matter. So I'm trying to educate the newbies that are coming in and they don't own shit. They know Shiba and SafeMoon before they know XRP. And then we're dealing with these guys, these unbelievable guys out here spewing nonsense. Do I think that XRP is going to dump soon? No, I think that... Um, <clears throat> what am I at? I'm on the four-hour chart. One second. Crypto atheists. That's right. Yeah. I mean, they just, okay, that's fine. Don't believe in anything. When I see it with my own eyes, the patents, the partnerships, the technology is sound, absolutely sound. There's been almost no downtime for XRP. They were saying that it was like legged up earlier this week, but there's been almost no downtime for XRP. Let's go to the 15 minute chart. This is going to take a quick look at XRP. Let's see what kind of signals we got. <laughs> Steve on YouTube says, this is like ASMR XRP. Gives me the warm feeling inside. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's, uh, here we go. Take a look at the five minute chart. This is obviously a five minute chart. This is a quick, guys, we have not got the sell signal on this, whatever this little algorithm is. So <clears throat> that's the thing, guys. Everyone's trading with their bots. All the exchanges have your trades. If you go to the casino, expect to be playing in a rigged game where the house has your bets. They know what you have and they can bet against you. Remember that when you're trading your cryptocurrencies. For the average person who's new here, we got a program for you too. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. My $17 a month Discord is enough time. You could do a one month, like a one month fling and literally just get the basics and you'd be set. Seventeen bucks a month, and you'd have you'd you'd be set up if you're a newbie. I'm talking to the noobs. For you guys that are trying to get your signals and all that, that's a different game. However, I'm about to drop a video. If you go back and look at my October 21st update that I sent out to my Discord group, prediction has came out spot on. Spot on. On the 21st of October, I said, guys, we're gonna move sideways or have dips. Till the 26th and if you look we had a final dip on the 27th and then we've been on that launch pad since and i said that bitcoin can test 58 to 55k it tested 58k uh, twice at least two times i said xrp has major support at a dollar probably won't go below a dollar hit 98 cents for a quick wick and then it was back over a dollar and then I said that ETH was probably going to all-time high, which that happened as well. So I don't show the signals, but our pattern is really in time right now with the overall macro movements. 
And I'm talking on a time frame that's like a monthly time frame. Our pattern is absolutely locked in right now. Like I said, I, I said sideways or dips till the 26th, and then we'll start to reverse. 27th, we got that final dip. They just wrecked everyone before they sent it, which is what they do every time. Liquidate all the fools and then send it. And guys, I include myself in, the, in that category because I've been getting wrecked in the futures trading, but I'm doing it so I understand it and I can report back to my uh, Discord group, to you guys. I, I basically give all my calls are free um, because I just speak in overall macro time frames. Are we moving up? When's the bull run ending? Probably December and it'll lag out into the, uh, January for a couple. XRP, d different situation. But, however, historically, once Bitcoin starts to correct and fall over, you're going to see XRP go crazy. That's what's happened in the previous two bull runs, and we expect the same thing. Once Bitcoin rolls over, XRP will go. So will XLM. So strap in and be ready for those moves. Um, right now, XRP just stretched. Okay, so here we're starting to correct back down. Back to a buck twenty-five for XRP. We're correcting back down. We're watching the, okay, this is a five minute chart. Let's zoom back out. 15 minutes. Remember, guys, these are really short time frames. XRP is not a decentralized coin. I said that it was sufficiently decentralized in my last TikTok because XRP is truly decentralized. It's permissionless. Anyone can build on it, it is open source. It's had almost no downtime, so it's solid technology, and anyone can build on top of it. People are continuing to build on top of it every single day. And now I know everyone's going to say, oh, the escrow account. Yes, of course. Of course. But how does the escrow work? They only get a billion XRP every month or so. How, how does that go? They only can release it so fast, guys. It only can be released so fast. So they can't dump that whole supply. It's one of those situations where we know what's going to happen with the supply. One second, guys. Someone's at my door. All right, YouTube. All right, TikTok. I am sorry. We are back. Let's get right back on into it. I'll have to edit that out in post production. What has XRP been doing? Back up to a buck twenty six. That is fantastic. Looks like we still have eleven people here in the YouTube, which is good for us on YouTube. Matthew on TikTok, my my good friend. Thank you. Appreciate you, brother. Guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in on YouTube. I appreciate all of you. I want to make sure, Zachary Berard, if you hear my voice, you won the XRP giveaway, man. So hit me up, DM me, and let's get in touch. 150 XRP, and we will do we will do probably another giveaway, or two, or a few. So stay tuned. Let's take a look at the overall market. H bar doing well too. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Ross says new to your live. Learned so much in the last five minutes. Thank you, Ross. Appreciate that. Oh, he's, he's laughing. Yeah. Last five minutes and nothing happening. Sorry. A bay just got home, had to check in with her and that was great. Now let's get back into this market, back up to 65K for Bitcoin. It did hit 65. Okay. Here we go, folks. Strap in. Now this is a do or die moment in this market, but I, here's the confirmation that we were expecting. Remember, our new moon was just uh, on November 4th, so we still are in the middle of this bullish energy. It will continue. This month, this whole month, is going to be a bullish month. Blow off top expected for Bitcoin probably around the first week of December. So that's going to be the market top for you guys. 
so ready for abundance, man. I'm so ready to to actually get some things done out here, right? Some some good shit done out here. Using our crypto for good. Real utility. Cheaper, faster, more efficient payments for the unbanked. That's what matters. That's what Ripple's solving. That's what Ripple has accomplished already. Stellar makes their whole deal about the underbanked and whatever, but Ripple's progress is much further along than Stellar's. Matthew with the private jet on TikTok. I appreciate that gift, man. Matthew, another good member in our Discord group. I appreciate all of you guys in the Discord group. That is linked up in the bio if you guys want to join. Like I said, it's 17 bucks a month. Even if you're a newbie to the space, this is actually ideal for you. If you're advanced, yes, come join us. We are, are talking about the trades we're making. We're talking about these altcoins. But if you're a noob... I got a little program for you. One month and then go on your merry way if that's what you want to do. But what we've created is a community. An XRP support group. <laughs> you need to have your XRP support group. That's important. Okay, let's take a look here. Ethereum stretching out to 4700 Okay, so is that back in price discovery? Yeah, Ethereum is basically in price discovery. What am I bullish on? What are my main holds? So right now, guys, I'm holding XRP, XDC, XLM, and Electronium. And then I have a trading bag that I'm moving around, uh, mostly losing money in. But uh, the trading bag can go anywhere. I'm mostly sticking to futures right now, and I'm mostly sticking to XRP and shorting shitcoins. And Bitcoin. I actually like shorting Bitcoin too, but... Uh, the short game has been played. This market's about to move up pretty serious. So uh, it actually might be time to short the shit coins because they're going to be struggling. As Bitcoin pulls away, Bitcoin dominance is going to regain. Even though I'm not a fan of Bitcoin, it is going to run here. I think it's actually going to be pretty crazy. I don't know if we go to 100K, but just the fact that we're going to go close. I mean, at least to 72 to 80, no doubt. Ethereum, pretty incredible. It's going to stretch out to probably five grand uh, in the next week or so. XRP having a nice pump. Yep, love to see it. XRP really shot up. Now you have some of these... See, this is what's happening is you have profit taking on some of these. The Solana, you know, had resistance at 250, but it's in price discovery right now. So now is not the time that I'm entering Solana. I'm not entering Binance Coin. I already am so pissed off that I missed Cardano at three to five cents in March of 2020. And so I'm not buying it. I'm, it, it could go much more, but I'm just, I'm pissed off that I didn't get in under 10 cents back in 2020. And I wanted to get it too. That's the thing is I just wasn't able to. The one token I don't hold, or at least the couple here that I don't hold that I would uh, really like to get my hands on, one is IOTA. Take a look at it if you guys don't know about it. A lot of our group already has it. You can get it on Bitru and Voyager, I think, but it is kind of a tough one. I can't use Bitru in my state. Avalanche, also in price discovery. You and Prosperity Fund have got to be the best at XRP chat. Shout out to Prosperity Fund on TikTok. He's a good guy, good energy. We appreciate that. Actually, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna restart my. TikTok live. I'm going to maintain here on YouTube, but I'm going to restart my TikTok live because TikTok is um, acting up right now. Everything just pumped in the last few minutes. Anyone know why? That's because 
the en- the energy is here right now. This is that the momentum that the whole space has. All right, let's look let's look at this chart here for uh, XRP once again 15 minute chart I'll put on the signals for you I, I don't think that we've gotten the sell signal yet let's take a look still no sell signal on the 15 minute got the sell signal on the five minute but Yeah, we'll see here. We already wicked down to about a buck twenty four nine. Basically down to a buck twenty five on the dot. So that's what we're looking at. For what can I say about XR Doge? Thank you, Jamie, on t- uh, YouTube. So I have not actually invested into XR Doge. I understand the appeal. I just don't care, you know, and like, it's like the X punks. It's the same thing for me. To me, it's kind of embarrassing uh, as an XRP. I like, I get it. It's cool, but I'm expecting much greater and better things for the NFT space built on the XRP ledger and the, the meme coin built on XRP. I mean, the beautiful thing is this is all part of the utility and in the use of XRP in action in the middle of this SEC lawsuit, it really shows uh, the decentralized aspect, the open source permissionless aspect of XRP in the middle of the lawsuit. It's like the wrapped Ethereum, uh, Bitcoin wrapped on Ethereum, or, or sorry, sorry. You already have Bitcoin wrapped on Ethereum, but now XRP is getting wrapped on Ethereum. Let's take a look at some of these other charts here. Wow, on the 15, look at that, look at that candle. Wow, each bar is popping, yeah. This was the confirmation that we needed was that push to 65K. That push to 65K validates a lot of the chart work that I've been listening to. So we're going to expect a really good move up from here. I was saying what was that last weekend i was saying the x uh sorry bitcoin was going to all-time high over the next week or two can stretch out even to like the 70k range can you please explain wrapped yeah it's basically just xrp um built on top of wait is it i guess it's ethereum wrapped let me look that up wrapped xrp is coming to the ethereum blockchain yeah xrp will be hosted on ethereum's block yeah correct okay so it's basically they put they build Bitcoin on top of the Ethereum ledger. Now they're building XRP on top of the Ethereum ledger. But the beautiful part about it is it shows that open source decentralized aspect. Like I was saying in the middle of this lawsuit, it completely exposes this thing wide open. Yeah. Because Ethereum is the free pass security. So that's what's incredible about it. Ethereum is the free pass security. Now, here's what no one liked. I just did a viral video on TikTok this weekend. And we've reached over 200,000 views. And basically, I was telling them, guys, just reminding everybody that 99% of crypto is going away. These regulations that they're looking to pass, yes, they're brutal. 
But as they introduce these regulations, as you see the scams get in trouble get, and go away, a lot of this space, they're just going to turn the key, close up, and, and try to go into hiding because they've been avoiding the regulators since the very beginning. Now, I'm not a fan of the SEC, obviously, XRP holder, not a fan of the SEC, not a fan of big government, completely believe in decentralization. However, uh, this is what we knew that was going to, it had to be done, which is the KYC aspects of this. They're treating crypto as cash. Anything over $10,000, you need to report KYC, social security number and the address and other information to the government within 15 days. Yes, it creates a hard burden on the cryptocurrency space, especially DeFi. But this is what we've been talking about where you have DeFi platforms right now. This whole, it's like the hot, hot word. Anything related to DeFi is just the best thing ever, which it is. It is the best thing ever. It is great. However, it is going to be KYC'd. They are going to regulate it. And people who try to skirt the regulators and the governments are not going to make it. Look at Binance getting in trouble right now. Look at Coinbase getting in trouble or, or getting pressure over their 4% interest rate on their USDC. 4%. Because we know how much of a stable coin is to a system to the system here. And you have multiple stable coins. With interest rates like that, it's a threat to all of the banks, of course. You have a lot of guys out here, a lot of kids too, talking about these staking platforms. Anywhere from 8,000 to now I'm seeing 70,000% staking rewards on your crypto. If that's not the definition of Ponzi, I don't know what is. How do these guys think that that's actually going to last? And that's the maturity that I'm talking about that this space needs. It's like, guys, no, we... we why are we shooting for that? We need to just fight for the ability to get a, a solid, you know, interest rate that's actually going to last by a real audit. You have these audits being done. And guys, I'm telling you this whole space, there's so much money to be made that that's why you're seeing even the bullshit NFT projects can pull out millions in these rug pulls. And why they will pay $50,000 to influencers to push them. They will pay hundreds of thousands to set up these Ponzi scheme rug pulls. And this is happening on a grand scale. The whole space is run by Tether, which is the greatest, biggest one currently. The Federal Reserve of the cryptocurrency space right now is Tether. But these are the laws that are getting introduced. We have to talk about them. We have to talk how it's actually going to be implicated, uh, implicate all of us holders. And here's the interesting part, though, for me. They say at the end of this article, the Treasury Department still has to explain how it plans to interpret the bill and publish guidance spelling out how businesses or other entities will have to comply with it. Remember how important the Treasury Department is. This is part of the, the cabinet of the president, the Treasury Department. And we have the Department of Treasury. We have the Department of Justice through FinCEN coming to an agreement with Ripple back in 2015 declaring XRP a digital currency. The rest of the space has not received that clarity from the Treasury Department or the SEC. Remember, Bill Hinman gave his opinion or so they say, so Bill Hinman said on the stand, is that that was just his opinion about Bitcoin and Ethereum and the Ethereum free pass. So technically, Ethereum doesn't have clarity because they haven't established the laws. ETH2 being built out right now is a security by definition. Um, look at how it's being done. Absolutely 100% a security by their definition. And like I said, not a fan of the SEC at all, not a fan of the government at all. But these are the entities and these are the, the people who set the laws for these industries. But look at the Treasury Department and the CFTC chairman, who was the, uh, let me, I can't forget it, I'm forgetting his name right now. Brian Quintez from the CFTC, that's his name. He stated 
that it should be clear that the Treasury Department has regulatory uh, has the regulatory uh, permission over overneath uh, cryptocurrency, over top of cryptocurrency. So the SEC is going to be able to get securities, which is 99% of this space is securities, which is the point that I'm making on TikTok and why the video did 200,000 because you have a bunch of people that are holding securities. And when you tell them they're holding securities, they get mad at me. And I'm telling them, take it up with Gary Gensler guy. Take it up with Gary Gensler guy, not me. Gary, take it up with Gary. Because he said every ICO that he's seen is a securities offering. And then Brad Garlinghau said that 99% of crypto is going away. And Brad just doesn't say, stay, say stuff like that. My hope is that they will allow these projects to come into compliance. I am not a fan of this regulatory body that is trying to control the space, the SEC. They do not protect investors. They do not have the interest of the American people uh, like they say they do. They have the interest of who pays them the most, just like this whole space works. These guys will say anything for a check. From the promoters here on TikTok all the way up to the very top. It's, it's who will cut me a check because I don't have any moral integrity. And I'm a greedy SOB that's ready to sell out the generations to come because I want to get my check now. And our country's been sold out. And I've been talking about this from the very beginning. You have a lot of people who saw that TikTok and they get triggered. And they think that I'm some fan of big government and a fan of the SEC and, oh, XRP, Ripple, the coddler, the government coddler coin. And I just commented back, well, we're winning. We're winning, my friend, because we actually have clarity from the Treasury Department, the regulatory body that's going to have uh, the task of providing clarity for commodities uh, instead of cur uh, commodities and currencies versus your securities. Do you think this is the end of the 13-year bull cycle for Bitcoin? Well, it's had its four-year cycles, and I don't think that um, potentially Bitcoin will see the effects of that Bitcoin halving cycle once again. But I do think that uh, the utility bull run will, will come in over the next uh, year or two. I don't think that we're going to have a like three-year bear market, four-year bear market. I don't believe in that because the reset is here. So we have to do a restructuring, revaluation of the U.S. reserve currency status. A lot of people aren't factoring that into their cryptocurrency price. And you, yeah, you know, here's the thing, guys. Understand that this is the internet of value. This isn't a cryptocurrency space for me and you, Joe Blow, to trade some money and try to get rich and buy a Lambo and be cool. This is about financial institutions, governments, banks, and the whole world moving to blockchain technology. And the whole internet of value includes the internet of things interacting with each other over the blockchain. A lot of your guys' projects can't even handle a trillion dollars in it. And like I said, a lot of you guys, uh, uh, sorry, a lot of your projects, they can't even handle a lawsuit against the SEC. They don't have the funds to fight a legal battle against the SEC. Is VeChain Internet of Things? That would be considered Internet of Things. Yes. Yep. Yep. Since the 08 crash, we were in a 13-year bull run in the stock market. Interesting number 13. Yeah, that would be fitting for us to, to turn over here this year as we go into 2022. Yeah, it sounds about right to me. Is crypto backed by something? Um, yeah, yes it is. Pump have anything to do with the infrastructure bill? Yeah, I, I do think that 
you're going to have, as these laws get passed, it almost makes people want to invest into it more. A lot of people who believe in the space, it actually pumps retail into the space more because we hate being told we can't do something. And that's why my video went viral is because it triggered everyone telling them that they hold a security. Um, but like I said, I hope that they're going to allow these companies and the innovation to take place by these projects uh, coming into compliance. Some of these projects, you can listen to Ethereum, Vitalik, and the whole gang there talk and brag about how they started up in Switzerland to avoid U.S. Regulator, regulators. You can go pull up the clips and listen to them brag about it. And essentially brag about getting a free pass in America when they did. So they avoided the regulators until they could pay the regulators off. And that's how this game works. TikTok got shut down. Um, well, I restarted my TikTok. I restarted my TikTok, yeah. XDC price predictions. I think you can do a 2 to 3x from that. Uh, previous all-time high of 20 cents easily, so 40 to 60 cents this bull run. I think that that's, you know, 50 cents for XDC is kind of that target. Yeah, yeah, exactly, guys. We've been sold out. This is the euphoric end, is the Dogecoin pump, is the Shiba pump, is the Catgirl pump, is the Santa coin pump. This is the euphoria blow off top of this asset class. Uh oh, you got guys shilling the shit coins. Uh, guys, I'm telling you. And what's happening is you're getting these little groups of money hungry, um, immoral people who literally will sell out their people. And it doesn't take much. You just get a couple thousand of your followers into the NFT project. Incredible what they can do. Incredible what we're seeing. And and all of these rug pulls is part of the final euphoric blow-off top scam bubble that we're seeing. The NFTs. And the scam part of NFTs is part of this blow-off top of this phase. Regulations, I think, are going to be what reigns in this space and what starts the bear market. You're going to have the crash. And then you're going to have the regulation. And, and look at what's happening with Elon Musk's tweet. With Elon Musk's tweet about selling his Tesla stock, it'll crash the market if they implement these laws that I'm talking about. It'll crash the market. Because if they uh, try to do the unrealized gains, these guys are just going to sell and at least get their money. If they're going to get taxed on it, they're at least going to get their money out. And that's essentially what it is. The whole dang thing is a pyramid scheme rug pull. <laughs> and they keep on propping it up. But what, what did we just see? Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell saying that they are going to start to taper. And then Tether printed another like billion, I think, or another billion or another trillion, like right after that announcement. I was laughing. But yeah, please explain your ridiculous XRP to 10,000 video I just saw. Well, you really got to research XRP, the size of the markets that it could handle. It's ready to handle all the money, and all the money is in the quadrillions of dollars. So when you just start to do the math on XRP, just getting a slice of that, just a slice of that pie, the price targets that we're talking about. And you're talking about a deflationary asset that burns as you use it. And you're talking about an escrow situation, a reserve situation where you're not going to have XRP in circulation because you'll have people using it as a store of value, as a reserve currency. 
as a reserve asset. So that leaves billions in the hands of the people who are using it as a reserve, whether that's me, whether that's you, the biggest banks and financial institutions. As it's used as a reserve currency, it comes out of circulation. If it's being used as a store of value, which it is now, and it will continue to be. And then as they use it as a liquidity tool for markets that are in the hundreds of trillions of dollars and the tens of trillions of dollars daily, some uh, that liquidity has to be provided somewhere. So I know XRP to 10,000 sounds ridiculous, but the point of it is just to get you understanding XRP. Do your research on it. Do your research on it. Because even if you don't want to believe in XRP to 10K, I want to at least get you to where we know what's going to go in the next year or two. Which, holy cow, you turn on just a little bit more liquidity, a little bit of utility, and this thing's a three-digit coin with ease. And it, and it, when you're a liquidity provider, guys, that means the price isn't coming down. It's not in a bull run, bear run cycle. It's in a utility use cycle. And as that utility and use increases, the supply diminishes. And as the price increases, then people hold it as a reserve, just store a value, which takes XRP out of circulation. So you start to add all that up. And at least if I can get you to that point of going to three digits, then you're going to see the opportunity and then you'll thank me later. And you're not going to care that it didn't go to 10K because you wrote it up to 500. You wrote it up to 1,000. And then, but here's what's going to happen. Let me tell you guys what's going to happen though. 50% uh, of holders will sell their XRP at 10 to $13. And then you're going to have people selling out at all the way up. $50, $100, right? <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are funny in the chat. What if XRP loses on the trial? Well, they can't lose because they already got clarity from the Treasury Department like I've already shown you. The Department of Justice through FinCEN already deemed XRP a digital currency in a previous lawsuit in 2015. That's why. XRP has clarity. SEC doesn't have a case. The worst that they can do is slap Ripple with a fine on the wrist. Doesn't matter. Ripple already has plenty of bank. They can afford it, even if they're made to do it. But they want clarity for XRP. So they are uh, they say that they're not looking to settle, but that's, that's how this game's played. That's how this game's played. They've been working on a settlement. The settlement was done before the lawsuit was announced. That's how this game works. That's how this rigged, staged game works. And a disinformation, misinformation campaign has been ran against XRP. We're making money on the meme coins. If that's what you want to do, go throw, you know, 20, 30% of your bag into a trading bag if that's what the fix that you need. But you have to be loading up on these utility projects. We've had a solid... 10 to 13 views uh, or viewers on YouTube, which is perfect because XRP is going to probably top out at 10 to 13 bucks this bull run. Fitting. Now, I'm going to make an XRP exit strategy video, which for 90% of my bag is to never exit, used to collateralize, but uh, I am probably going to sell 5 to 10% this market top. I'm not going to get into why I'm going to do that, but... Uh, for me, someone who holds a bag, I'm only doing 10% at most, 10% at most. Um, but yeah, I mean, I got to buy a house for me and my, my, uh, girlfriend and my baby girl that's on the way to live in. So that's why I'm going to have a little bit of cash, get a little bit of cash out, just a tiny sliver, little slice. And I'm going to regret it later when I, I know I'm going to regret it later, but you got to do what you got to do for the family. And uh, as you guys can see with the real estate market, with all of these asset classes, the inflation is driving up these prices right now. So I'm going to try to get in right now. If I can sign the dot on a 30-year funny money loan, 
30 years to pay you back in funny money? At 2 3% interest? Sign me up. Sign me up. Thoughts on AMP doesn't get me excited. Avalanche, I'm very interested in. It got that digital pound foundation feature. Very interested in Avalanche. Don't own any right now, but I'm watching it. See, here's the best part, guys, is there's some money to make the rest of this bull run. But if we get this opportunity to pick up these projects on the low over the next you know, two, three years, there's a whole list here of utility tokens that we're going to be talking about. I like projects that are open to the public. They're showing us what they're doing. We can talk to the developers. You can see the progress. You're not waiting years for an ETH 2.0. I, I could go on a freaking hour long rant about Ethereum. No one knows who, how much, no one knows who the Ethereum whales are. Just a random group of guys that could pull the rug on that one at any time. People don't realize that. That no one, like, with XRP, we know. Yes, it's Jed McCaleb, and he hasn't sold any of his 700 million XRP since September. I wonder why. We know that Chris Larson has a shit ton. We know that Brad Gollinghouse has a shit ton. David does, and they deserve it. I'm going to say that right now. Those guys deserve it for what they're building out. And I don't question it for a second. And I totally have faith in them with what they're going to do with that escrow account. It's going to utility. It's going to people and players that matter. And they just built uh, proof of payment, which allows people across the world to use the XRP ledger without internet. So tell me again about how XRP is the banker's coin. No, XRP is a decentralized permissionless cryptocurrency that's going to store value and have a shit ton of utility built on top of it. And it's going to be used to provide trillions of dollars of liquidity. And they are serving the underbanked. So they're serving the bankers, getting them on board. And then they are serving the underbanked, the people who can't even get on the internet across this earth right now, will be able to use XRP. I, guys, I'm sorry. I try to talk about other cryptos, but they're they're not interesting to me. They're not actually building shit that's impressive. Oh, um, I like I look at the I'm going through this list and it does not get me excited. Axie Infinity, Internet Computer kind of looks cool. Crypto.com, all it does is provide liquidity on crypto.com, which I'm happy for all you guys who are making money off these cryptos. Dennis, shout out to Dennis. I know you got your CRO. Filecoin I'm excited about. I need to get me some. I don't own any, but it is one of my altcoins that I'm taking a serious look at. Not financial advice, guys, but Tron is just a joke at the 30 spot. Your Theta at the 31 spot at $7.50. Let's talk about Theta here. I mean, it's what it stretched out recently to that all-time high back in... Uh, April, 14, 15 bucks. Ada is a joke. I mean, Cardano is a, I like, I like what they're doing. I like that it's an Ethereum competitor. The thing about Cardano is I actually appreciate Charles and I appreciate the fact that they're, what they're doing is pretty out in the open. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just outright, Freaking Mike Novogratz and gang, Joseph Lubin and gang, all these guys who brag about the Ethereum free pass and ba brag about how they got Ethereum under a dollar to Mike Novogratz. 15.90 for Theta back in April. Yeah. So some of these, I think, like I said, you're going to be lucky to get that two or three X out of them at this point because they're already back at all-time high. They're already in price discovery. 
What's up, Chad, on YouTube? Thank you, YouTube, for tuning in tonight. We got 15 viewers on YouTube. That's pushing numbers for us on YouTube. We got we had 300 on TikTok. Shiba down 8% today. So the shit coins are starting to pull back as Bitcoin starts to regain dominance. That's what's happening right now, guys. Ethereum too. Bitcoin and ETH are going to regain dominance. Okay. And then you're going to start to see some of these other guys go too. Solana already made a serious move. And now people are questioning how centralized Solana is. That's what that's what happens here. Looking to INX, yes, I know it was a security token. Yep. And like I said, I hope that they allow I hope that they allow these crypto companies to actually come into compliance. A lot of them have been trying to work in the space the right way. And if they did an ICO, they were trying to do it the proper way. So if you have to give them a slap on the wrist or whatever, I mean, really, they should just have a safe harbor law because they haven't provided clarity. They haven't provided regulatory clarity. But it's like they're stalling. They're stalling and letting this space just finish off this blow off top. And remember, the CFTC bragged about reeling in the cryptocurrency space back in 2017 with the launch of the CME futures. And now everybody's talking about, oh, we want Bitcoin futures, uh, Ethereum futures. Well, you're going to get them and then you're going to get Wall Street swinging your crypto and manipulating them even more. Does it bring adoption to the space? Yes. Yes. But until we get these, yeah, like... How long to hold XTC? I'm going to be selling any of these other cryptos that I have. I'm going to be selling them this bull run. The only coin I'm holding through this bull run is XRP. The rest I'm selling. Current holdings, XTC, XLM, and Electronium. That's all I got. Four little cryptos. There's a few others that I've mentioned, keep on mentioning, that I wish I had. But unless I can make a somewhat decent position in them, I just avoid it. Chainlink back up here at 32. What's that all-time high for Chainlink? Look at look at how in the comments, like I feel like there's less people commenting about shit coins right now, which is kind of interesting. It's like the hype, how quickly it died out. Now, like like earlier this week or last time I went live, it was just like cat girl, fox girl, taco cat, all this crazy stuff in the chat. And it's like the hype's already died out. $52 for Chainlink in May. Wow. Quant is another one. Yeah. Uh, what is Quant trading at right now? 255. Gosh, it is in a decent spot, I think. But yeah. I think that it's only going to do five, six hundred bucks this bull run. Personally, I don't think that it stretches out to a thousand. It'll have major sell pressure if it reaches up even close to that. Thoughts on VET? You should research smart contracts. I, I have researched smart contracts. I know a lot about smart contracts. Dogecoin at that nine spot. Terra Luna. So, see, a lot of these cryptos, guys, they look actually promising, but I'm going to wait till the, the bear market to pick them up. There's not much life left in them. I'm trying to find 5 to 10 Xs um, for swing trades. And at this point, guys, they've already started to move up. I was saying this all through October. Even Algorand, I sold out at a buck thirty nine. Vet at 15 cents. What did that all time high get up to for Vet? 
27 cents. Andres, what's Andre? What's up, man? Andres, what's good, man? Meta hero, what's it doing? Meta got pumped by all of the guys. Down 2% today to 14 cents. Seventeen cents twenty-five days ago. So it's down twenty percent off that all-time high. I will say that Meta it did look pretty cool what they did with that 3D scanning. That looks pretty promising. Kind of interested to vet out some of the partnerships on uh, Meta Hero. Definitely an interesting technology. It's just, what did it do last month? Yeah, it's still brand new. Is that like ten cents? How high's how high's Meta Hero, Hero gonna go in your guys' opinion? Can you explain Electronium and its use case? I could not, honestly. I don't even know what they use Electronium for. I know they're like partnered with Ripple. Andrea says a buck fifty for MetaHero. Market cap at eight hundred twenty-seven million. So it'd have to do a ten x. What would that be? One billion. Yeah, so it has to go to almost uh, ten billion in market cap to reach a buck fifty. So yeah, I mean, God, you might be able to squeeze a five to ten x out of that because if even if you go on the conservative side, get a five to ten x out of that, not bad. Better than a lot of these cryptos that have already topped out. What's it? It's ranked two thousand seven hundred fifty four. I just, you know me, it worries me. Once all the boys push it, it's got about a week left in the pump after the boys push it, the boys and girls. And then um, then the hype dies out. Now, maybe Meta Heroes for real. I'm not saying that it's not. I got I to gotta look deep. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. I need to actually research Electronium and actually look look actually what they're doing. Mana, dude, Mana already had its hype too. That's my thing. It already pumped so hard in what was it? The Mana chart and the Sand chart were like no, or was it Mena and Sheba? I think it was Mena and the Sand chart. I think, yeah, both of those, literally identical charts. And so it's like you can watch the hype. The hot word is meta. So anything with meta pumps. Anything in the metaverse pumps. And then, and then you start to see it fizzle out, which I'm not saying that it can't go more. I'm not saying that it's for real. But, um, the, you know, the decentralized, decentraland real estate there we'll see electronium is working with the digital pound foundation that is true we're going to get to hear from them here shortly actually in i think the next week or two we're going to hear from the digital pound foundation i like this tweet from digital asset investor he asks a few questions why is jed mccaleb untouched why is ethereum given a free pass why do they choose ripple to go after who was involved in the decision by CoinMarketCap in January of 2018 to drop Korean exchanges without warning from pricing? Who knew beforehand? Who shorted? So like I was telling you guys earlier, in the middle of January 2018, in the middle of the XRP bull run, they removed Korean exchanges from CoinMarketCap's 
uh, calculations in the prices. And what was happening is XRP was selling at a premium across the world and other places. Now I want to show you guys this chart right here. Shout out to Dark Defender on Twitter. XRP is now in the it's now on the clouds in a narrowed area. We'll try a dollar twenty two shortly, which like right after he put this out, it went up to a buck twenty two, and obviously we've pumped up more since then. This tweet was put out um, this this morning, one thirty three a.m. I believe it's time to jump on the next triangle, which targets a buck eighty five. But we do have resistance at one twenty two, one thirty three. A buck forty-two and one eighty-five. Our supports are a buck thirteen, a dollar eight, and ninety-five cents being that major support. So now this chart has us hitting there around, um, yeah, the middle of this month. And I was looking at the chart too, and it looked like a buck forty by the middle of this month was potential for XRP. Have I seen the chart showing what metals will back which cryptos? Yeah, I have. Um, from from my understanding, that's just like a comparison of like the function of the utility. I don't. Yeah, now they could back some of these cryptos by metals for sure. I don't think that they are though. I, I think that they will be tokenized. The markets will be tokenized for sure, but. Twitter got you too. Yeah, I got taken off of Twitter. That's why I started on TikTok back in February is because I got taken off of Twitter. And I was like, this is stupid. So I started making TikTok content. The rest is history. Yeah, shout out to BC Backer on YouTube. He's one of the main guys that I follow for chart work. Look at that. 20 million views, 200,000 subscribers. That's awesome. TikTok banned 90% of crypto influencers this past week. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of these guys are getting banned and getting in trouble. Yep. Let me do... Uh, <laughs> what's up, Blue Line Disciple? Yeah, thank you for tuning in. Let's do rapid fire Q&A as we wait for this market to move back up again. Already reaching 65k for Bitcoin. Yeah, we we should be above a buck thirty here shortly, next couple days. What's up, my boy Ryan's in the chat. What's good? Stellar, big fan. I still think it has a 10x potential. Three to five bucks this bull run easily. It'll pump last like XRP. XRP and Quant, big fans, yep. I want to show you DeFi and learn it's real before they shut it down. Well, if they're going to shut it down, then it's going to be real for a little bit longer. But that's what I've been talking about, guys. These platforms that are offering you 8,000% interest staking rewards, that's not going to last. It's not going to last. Coinbase was getting in trouble for their 4% APY on USDC. Do I really believe in XRP to 10,000 by 25? Um, between 25 and 30, yeah, I do. What's the best platform to trade for newbies? Uh, Coinbase for sure. Get Coinbase Pro and 
if you want to get XRP, you're going to have to go to Upholder Qcoin, which I definitely advise a newbie picking up a little bit of XRP. You can also get it on BitTrue and a couple other places, but make sure he picks up a little bit of XRP. Still has 10x potential this bull run. Uh, but I would recommend for a noob, Coinbase. Yeah, it's the easiest, most simple platform. How do we know what coins may be considered a security? Gary Gensler said that every ICO that he's seen is a securities offering. Every ICO. So that's your answer. Whether or not your project was a security, if it did an ICO, 99.9% .9 of them are viewed as securities. That's straight out of Gary Gensler's mouth and straight out of Jay Clayton's too. How's Theta? It's like sideways. It moved up a little bit last week, but it's back at, uh, what's it back up for the Theta? It's 750. 750 area. Yeah. Phantom 290. Yeah, a lot of these. Where can you buy XRP? Uphold, Qcoin, Bittrex, Bittrue. Yeah, you're not going to be able to buy XRP on Coinbase yet. They haven't relisted it yet. Are they going to? I believe that they are, and they're going to try to get a cut of this XRP bull run, I think. It'd be an incredible move for them to make from a legal perspective to just front run that uh, the case you know, against them because they know that the SEC, maybe they just don't want to piss off the SEC, though. That's why they took XRP down. Binance too. Yeah, but I wouldn't recommend Binance. Look at how much trouble they're in. They're facing lawsuits in like a dozen countries. CKB, interesting project. Yep, I need to look at it before I give you guys the green light, but CKB looks solid on initial look, initial take. How many meme coins like XRP or XR Doge able to replicate XRP in the XRP ledger? Well, yeah, I mean, they're just meme coins on the XRP ledger. I don't expect anything special out of them, but it does show the decentralized permissionless nature of XRP, people building on top of it without the permission of Ripple. If it was a security, you would need Ripple's permission to do it. And that's what you have with Ethereum is you have the proof of work machine where you have a handful of miners running the whole network. Yeah, could I explain if Ripple could not use XRP? There's just no scenario where that happens because they're already using it across the world. It's the number one currency in the UK right now. The number one crypto is XRP, then Cardano. So you're seeing the adoption across the world. They're already using it for on-demand liquidity across the world. Riot blockchain. Yeah, I mean, if it has the, if it has the blockchain and the stock ticker in the middle of this speculative hype bull run anything like that is, is going to run and when bitcoin runs riot blockchain runs i don't do stocks i'm not interested in it but it probably will as bitcoin blows off the top here on the end of this bull run what do i read or study to be as current and as knowledgeable as you are so going back, I read, uh, you know, books back in like high school on the Federal Reserve, started to understand the currency, monetary policy, how that works. So for the last 10 years, been doing that. And then for the last like six, seven years, I've been studying business and investing daily by reading books, uh, listening to audio books and listening to podcasts, YouTube for six, seven years. And then I've been tr trading and buying crypto for three years now. Uh, and studying the crypto space for about three years. And then currently I'm banned off Twitter, but I still check Twitter for news and mostly stick to YouTube. Now TikTok is actually pretty solid. There's there's a few solid guys out here, a few solid ones. XRP is alive again. It is, this whole space is, you're going to see Bitcoin going back to all-time high. ETH is at all-time high right now. So back into price discovery for a lot of these main large uh, caps this week, in my opinion. Besides XRP, of course. 
remember guys xrp and xlm will pump towards the end of this run after bitcoin's topped out so have patience with your xrp if you have some of these other cryptos that we've been talking about there's a little bit of room to go on a lot of them two to three x potential across the board still even for bitcoin 120k 140k sounds crazy to me but a lot of these respected chart guys are showing us those numbers by the end of this year it's crazy to think about but here's the good news once that money is uh done in bitcoin and ethereum it's going to be di diluted across all these other coins this is when we're going to see a few hundred billion pour into xrp xlm and you're going to see these coins do a 10x some of these other cryptos 5x Should I change ADA to XRP? Well, I don't think the ADA has a 10X left in it this bull run. Well, wait. let's take a look. It's at two bucks. I know I got people telling me 10 to 20 bucks for Cardano in like the next year or so. I Let's look at the, let's look at Cardano a little closer here. Market cap of 68 billion. Circulating supply, three quarters of the supply is out and you have a 33 billion supply so to get a 10x you'd have to go to 600 billion you could get another few hundred billion pouring into cardano no doubt after ethereum's done you could actually get here's the thing with cardano it's it's part of all the other competitors to ethereum and there's many right all these other smart contracts platforms, DeFi platforms, you have Solana, Cardano, Polkadot. Um, let's see what else we got here. Avalanche, Luna. Those are all competitors. All competitors. Uh, Matic, your Matic, yep. All these top 20 cryptos right there. I just listed off like half a dozen there that are all competitors. Uh, H bar. Let's take a look at H bar. Forty one cents right now. All time high was fifty five cents. Um, when was that? That was September. Yeah, September sixteenth. Fifty seven cents for your H bar. So, um, yeah, yeah. That's why I think yeah, you, you'd be lucky to get another two X out of that one. The market cap six billion. So yeah, could it do a ten x from there? I don't know if it could do a ten x from there. This bull run, even a five x to thirty billion. Yeah, I could see something like that. Five bucks, God. Yeah, that actually might be potential for Hedera. I I need to sit down and actually look at how how high this market could actually go. It really depends on Bitcoin and, and Ethereum, to be honest. Once those top out, then the money flows down into these other ones and it'll probably be done about a two, two weeks to one month after Bitcoin tops out, the, the bear market will be in, you would say. The bear market would be in for good about a month after. Thoughts on KDA. So someone in my Discord was talking about KDA. I have not done a deep dive on it yet. It does look interesting. The partnerships look nice, very nice. So I'm going to do a deep dive on KDA and I'll let you guys know. Yeah, so I think that Bitcoin will top out at the beginning of December and then the market should be done by beginning of January for the most part. Yeah, you'll have your altcoins follow Bitcoin into the month of January maybe, just like in 2017. But I got to wrap this one up, guys. I appreciate all of you. Thank you once again. I did drop the 150 XRP giveaway video today, so the winner was announced. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, make sure to interact with me on YouTube as well. Appreciate you guys over there. Now, we'll be going live throughout this next week, so you guys be ready. We'll be watching this closely. If you want to join my Patreon with Discord group, 
uh, Discord group is growing. It's um, almost at 100 members total. So the community is really solid, continues to grow over there. Uh, if you're just trying to learn crypto or if you're you know more advanced and you understand and want a group of like-minded individuals to ride this thing out with, we've got a good solid group over there and I really appreciate them. 150,000 on TikTok has been incredible. Uh, we just reached 1,500 on YouTube. We will continue to grow the YouTube here with more deep dive content. I'm super excited to drop some more stuff over here. But uh, yeah, very busy these days. We'll try to get out as much content to end this bull run. Definitely going to be exciting. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Take care. Seventeen viewers in the 